Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. A person who planned terrorist attacks in Azerbaijan was arrested. This was reported by the State Security Service. During the investigation conducted by the State Security Service, reasonable suspicions arose that a citizen of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Asker of Behruz, born in 1988, residing in the city of Murmansk of the Russian Federation, having come into contact with other persons in order to violate public security in the country, caused panic among the population, influenced decision-making by the government bodies and international organizations, was preparing to commit a terrorist act, accompanied by a death of people and other socially dangerous consequences. It was ascertained that Bahruz Askerov involved people living in different regions of the Republic in a secret relationship and gave them instructions with the aim of organizing an assassination attempt on the head of the Lankiran city executive power. It was also ascertained that Bahruz Askerov instructed his contacts to carry out a conspiracy against a foreign citizen working as an English teacher in some regions of Azerbaijan. As a result of comprehensive operation and investigative measures, Bahruz Askerov was arrested and prosecuted under articles of the criminal code. A court decision on the pre-trial restriction in the form of detention was made against him. It was established that Bahruz Askerov planned to organize military training on the territory of foreign state for persons with whom he was in contact, but as a result of measures taken by the state security service, he was unable to commit these criminal acts. Currently, comprehensive investigative and operational measures are underway to clarify all the circumstances of the criminal case. The Azerbaijan Press Council strongly condemned Vladimir Solovyov's position regarding the terrible terrorist act committed in the Crocus City Hall concert hall in Moscow, an information sabotage aimed at associating Azerbaijan with this event. The council appeals to the Russian media as well as to the public not to be indifferent to the actions and behavior of the journalist who seems to have no sense of responsibility towards his homeland and people and who has turned his profession into a tool of prejudice. The press council hopes that the necessary public condemnation will be formed against Salavyov and that the actions of this person will be given a proper legal assessment. The Metsamor nuclear power plant in Armenia is included in the list of the most dangerous nuclear facilities in the world, and this is not accidental. Although the term of its operation expired in 2005, it is still in operation. And taking into account that the station is located in a seismic zone, it is no difficult to imagine the scale of the danger. For many years, Azerbaijan expresses concern about the danger arising from the activity of the Metsamor nuclear power plant. Even in the post-Soviet period, Metsamor was considered the most outdated and unreliable among the Soviet reactors. Even after so many years, neighboring Armenia continues to use a potential source of disaster. Although the International Atomic Energy Agency and the EU have officially recognized the Metsamor nuclear power plant as the most dangerous nuclear power plant in the world, no real steps have been taken to close it down. Armenia is constantly looking for ways to extend the life of the malfunctioning Metsamor in the state of emergency. Despite the appeals of global think tanks and representatives of civil society regarding the nuclear power plant, the Armenian authorities act irresponsibly. Official Erevan, hoping to mislead the local and international community with its false calculations, drags humanity into another tragedy similar to what happened in Chernobyl and Fukushima. Azerbaijan is constantly sounding the alarm about the urgency of the problem. However, this requires a decisive and objective reaction from international organizations, because the only way to prevent the tragedy which the Metsamor nuclear power plant will contribute to is to unite the efforts in the fight against it. The first lunar eclipse of the year was observed on March 25th. According to a report from the Shamakha Astrophysical Observatory, the penumbral lunar eclipse is observed in the eastern part of Australia, South and North America, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic and Antarctica, and the western part of Europe. The lunar eclipse, which started at 8.53 a.m. Baku time, ended at 1.32 p.m. Since the moon is below the horizon during the eclipse, it is impossible to observe this natural phenomenon in our country. You can get in touch with us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts at 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you encountered as well as share your suggestions and comments. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.